in today's video, we are going to look at stabbing, stabbing with knife, going forward. A very common uh, form of an attack with a knife. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, welcome to this channel. We are dedicating these videos to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, who would like to learn the art of self-defense. This self-defense is based on Krav Maga, which comes from Israel. It was originally developed for Israeli defense forces and later on adapted for civilians. We teach the original Krav Maga as started by the Krav Maga founder named Imi Lichtenfeld. And if you would like to know how I became, uh, how I started this journey and how I became qualified instructor, please check the comments below. But for now, let's get started. So, knife stab. The aggressor's got knife in his hand and by the, uh, the way he holds it, I can identify that it's probably going to be stab. If he would held it in a what we call ice pick, it's probably going to go from the top and I'll be defending myself in a different way. If I see that the aggressor is holding the knife, something like this, I can expect that he'll go forward uh, and I'm done. He goes into my body. So let's have a look how we can defend against this. We'll break it into three steps, as we always do in Krav Maga, body movement, hand movement, and counter attack. So as soon as the blade is coming towards me, I want to get what we call out of the channel of attack. So I'm moving my pelvis, my hips to the side so that I escape basically his channel of attack. I try to get out of that line of attack. Okay, so that's the movement number one. Of course, I can help myself with my hand. So that will be the hand defense or movement number two. Now, in this particular scenario, I'm going to be using a scooping defense. So if I face the camera, scooping defense is that I literally make scoops with my hands. And uh, when I teach kids, I always say, think that you are working in an ice cream van. You've got a big scoop and you want to scoop out some ice cream. So that's what literally, that's what it means. I want to scoop away. Okay, so when that knife is coming at me, I want to literally scoop it as quickly as I can. I want to move the body out of the channel of attack. And number three, I want to counter attack as quickly as I can. So body movement, hand movement, and I'm firing my fist into the face of the attacker. This actually is the real protection from that knife. There's no point of me doing something yeah, fancy here and yeah, yeah. If I do not hit the aggressor into his face, because this is going to really change the game. Okay. So body movement, hand movement, bang, straight away, <clears throat> as hard as I can. Now, if I see that the aggressor is not going down or I missed for some reason, or I hit the shoulder or it just doesn't land clean and I do not knock the, the aggressor out or I don't damage him enough that he changes his mind to continue the attack. I need to carry on with few more attacks. <gasps> the combination can be any. We usually suggest that we just go for some simple jab and cross and then kick in a groin, push kick in a chest. We move away from the danger zone and we scan for other potential attackers. So one more time, the whole thing. <laughs> And if you've noticed, I'm not really focusing much on that knife to try to disarm it. I simply just want to quickly land a few punches on the face and clear the danger zone. And now if the aggressor still got, uh, has got the knife in his hand, then we are starting again, but I'm in much more better position because I'm expecting that attack and I can use my long legs to keep him away and not allow him to come towards me again. So uh, in Krav Maga, we don't always go for the knife to try to disarm it. We usually uh, prefer to go away from that knife as quickly as possible, reassess the situation and maybe uh, take to some other means of defending ourselves. <laughs> 
So when I'm making that scoop, of course, the strongest part of my palm is going to be the base of my palm. So when that knife, that hand comes, I want that base of my palm to actually hit somewhere at the area of the wrist. Of course, I'm not going to go for the knife. That would be stupid. It's only if this is a gun, for example, I would be controlling the gun, not the hand. If this is a knife, I want to control the hand. So with the base of my palm, I make that scoop. If I get in with my fingers, that's okay, but fingers can be weak and I can simply slip. So with the base of my palm, I'm moving the hand, I'm taking my body away and I'm hitting and straight away a few more strikes, going away, using kicks as a long distance weapon, creating even more distance, scanning for potential attackers. This is just one technique in Krav Maga, this is not the technique or the only technique, this is just one technique. It's called scooping defense against straight stab with a knife, because we are literally scooping away. So let's have a look at the body movement, then the scooping, then the counter-attack, and then all three movements together. So the body movement is literally this. I'm trying to get my body out of that channel of attack as quickly as I can. I stay on the balls of my feet so that I'm quick and agile. Okay. Now I can add that scoop, that uh, hand movement to it. So I'm scooping one way, but the body is going the other way. So the knife is hopefully going to miss me here. So that's a body movement, hand movement. And now, of course, I want to counter attack at the same time. So it's a combined movement or compound movement while I'm moving my body, scooping that arm with the knife away, and I'm hitting uh, at the same time. Check out our other videos where we are showing other attacks with knife, like for example a slash. So slash at the throat is if the aggressor's got the knife, he's going to literally ah, slash my throat. If I'm not ready for that, it's a totally deadly attack. As we said at the beginning, another attack can be the ice pick when the attack is going from the top. Again, very dangerous and deadly attack. Uh, another variety of attack can be what we call a oriental stab, when the attacker is holding it at the knee like this and he's going up into my body. <sighs> so we've got defenses against all these. So if you are interested in uh, learning some of those, uh, stay with us and yeah, have fun. So this was a defense against stab with a knife. Hopefully it was helpful. Please check our other videos. They are very simple to follow. We try to explain all the techniques in a very easy to follow way. Uh, if you've got any questions, please write them down in the comments. We'll be more than happy to uh, answer them all. Okay, once again, thank you for watching and we'll see you in another video.